Hey everyone, Mr. MC here, and for today's race, we're gonna rush on over to the Nations Cup race because we only have about a minute and a half left, two minutes left actually. But this was a five lap race with the Group B cars. Fuel and tire are off, so uh, we don't have to worry about fuel nor tire wear. The DR and SR were off, so we don't have to worry about that either. So this is basically a meme race, so let's go ahead and have a little bit of fun. I should also note that I did not warm up for this race, so I'm going to be really rusty. And I didn't even get the rig set up, so I was on the controller, so we'll see how this goes. And interestingly, uh, we had quite a few points on offer for this race. Normally, for a rally race here in North America, the participation will be very low, but interestingly, the participation was a bit higher than expected. So... Let's go on over to the qualifier where this is basically going to be my practice. Uh, as I didn't even practice before this, I didn't warm up before this, I just barely got on. So what I'm going to do in the outlap, I'm going to let everyone through so I can just uh, go my own pace without having to worry about anyone. But as I'm trying to let people through, I'm accidentally going to take someone out and I felt really bad about taking him out. So I waited by the side to just let him on through. Uh, luckily, this was the outlap, so I didn't ruin the qualifying time, but still really felt bad about that. But anyways, let's get started with our qualifying lap, and I'm already going to damage the car by hitting the barrier really hard. So, already a very poor start to the qualifying lap before I even started the lap. And then I'm going to turn left when I should be turning right, so already uh, things are not going too well. So we're going to go ahead and skip on over towards the end of the lap where I just struggle my way through. Just trying to get familiar with the car again and get familiar with the controller because normally I don't drive with a controller. But anyways, getting a 3 minute point seven, so I know I can do a heck of a lot better than that. So let's go ahead and really focus on down and try to get the better lap time. But unfortunately, I'm going to get distracted by that car and then I'm going to tap the barrier, jump and then hit the barrier again. So already that's a lot of potential time ruined right there and just get a really poor exit out of that turn. But skipping over towards the end of the race, just struggling again to try to finish this lap time. Actually improve on this going down to a 259, but that's going to put me down in fifth place and yeah, four seconds slower than uh, the pole position so yeah i have a bit of work to do but now let's go on over to the race starting in fifth place with this super awesome key on livery that i've had for a while i'll leave the link to it in the description down below but anyways let's go ahead and get started with the race if i can somehow bring myself to podium i'll be really happy with that result but lights go green, I'm going to need to somehow find a way to get past a couple of these cars and I might need to get really aggressive with them. So here we go, just trying to still get used to the controller because I don't drive it on the controller that much. And just trying to get the car to really rotate around these turns and then get on the throttle as soon as I can. Going through a couple of jumps. And gonna see if we can try to get a nice clean line, catching up to fourth place. And here I'm gonna do one of the most awesome moves I've ever done, where I'm gonna turn into a ghost and I'm gonna Casper my way through fourth place and take his position. That's a textbook move right there. And now I need to focus on catching up to third place, which is gonna be pretty difficult because one, he's a bit always off. And second of all, his pace is better than mine, so I need to really up my pace and try to catch up to him. And definitely taking this line is not going to help because that's really going to slow me down. And now fifth place is breathing down my neck and he's probably going to want to take his position back. I'm getting a really nice line through here and just trying to whip the car around these turns. Gandalf thought as soon as I can. Still trying to get used to the controller as I'm going to Casper my way through the Subaru once again. He's definitely not taking fourth place from me and just try to get a better line and try to get a better exit, which is what I'm trying to do, but it's kind of not really working out for me. 
But now here comes this jump, which I need to set myself up just right for, which is a thing that I'm not gonna do, just barely save it. And just save myself from hitting the walls and ending my race right there. But luckily, I was able to correct the card just in time and I'm able to live to fight another day. So here we see first, second, and third place. They're still really fighting it out. So I need to really try to up my pace and that way I can hopefully catch up to them. But honestly, I'm just all over the place and not getting the best exit. So I really need to focus and try to get the best exit so I can catch up to them. But we're gonna skip on over towards part way into lap two. So I am slowly catching up to them, which is good. I just need to push myself even more. Gonna take this jump, but I'm gonna get it all sorts all wrong and barely, just barely save it right there. That could have ended up in disaster. And luckily that jump is now over, so I can just focus on catching up to third place in which he's just right there. He's so close, but so far. I just need to push just a little bit more and I'll be able to be right on his tail. And luckily that is slowly working out for me as he goes a little wide through uh, that turn. But then I'm going to go a little wide. So it's a bit of like a yo-yo effect where we're getting a bit closer, getting a bit farther. And I really need to just try to focus on getting the right turns. I know I've said that about a million times. And going to have a little bit of fun through these turns. These are my favorite turns on this track where you can really just have the car sliding around through these tight hairpins. If you can get the right line, you get really fast exits as I'm definitely not going to do that. But then the Hyundai is going to hit the wall and that's going to put him uh, just far away from second and first place. So at this point, now it's a two car battle for third place. And now I'm pretty much right behind him. And now I really need to just reel him on in and hopefully try to take his spot. But before I go on, Something I want to show is how Hockey is Free overtook Lester because the way that he overtook him, is it's like some witchcraft that he does. So we're going over to Hockey is Free's perspective. So he's in the Ford Mustang, Lester is in the Ford Focus, but we're focusing on Hockey's perspective because the way that he gets his jump done, I don't know how he did it but he gets a massive speed boost and just flies past Lester like holy moly how do you get that like, that's some witchcraft right there that's probably one of the best overtakes I've ever seen from this track like how, how do you even explain that was it, was it luck was it skill I, I don't know was it the Mustang <laughs> I, 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 I don't know how do, how do you how do you explain that but anyways, going back to my perspective, so still fighting it out with heavy right foot for third place. So at this point, I've caught up to him and now it's going to be a really intense duel as Lester and Hockey are fighting it out for first place. So here, I'm going to be honest, this, this was some fantastic racing between heavy right foot and I. Uh, I had a lot of fun with this battle for third place so it's gonna try and see if I can force him into an error but it's gonna be really difficult because it's gonna be really easy for me to force an error to myself because I didn't warm up for this race and also I don't know what the heck I'm doing and heavy right foot he's getting better exits in that high on die so I really need to try to work on my exits so I can keep up with him because if I'm getting really poor exits then it's basically going to be impossible for me to catch up to him or even pass him. And just like that, I'm already one second behind him. A couple of turns ago, I was two tenths behind him. So even just getting a couple of turns wrong can cost you so much time. And right here, he's going to go a little wide through the first couple of turns. So I'm going to be right on his tail again, going from one second to about half a second. So. That's how important it is to really not mess things up, especially at rally tracks like Fishman's Ranch, where any little mistake can cost you half a second, one second. So you got to really nail things down. Just try to have a mistake free run, which is much easier said than done, especially with the weird physics. But that's another story for another day. 
gonna try to get the car to nicely rotate around this turn which is gonna work out just good for me gonna slowly catch up to heavy right foot and again just trying to get the car whipped around these turns and get a better exit so now I'm riding his tail but I couldn't go for the move right there as there was a jump and I didn't want to take him out like how I did with the poor son in the qualifying session and here it's just gonna be really difficult to try to get a move done and I know I'm gonna have to get really aggressive but the question is when do I try to get aggressive and try to take the spot from him but unfortunately I'm just gonna end up hitting the wall I'm gonna get a bit of damage on the rear of the car but luckily he's gonna go wide through this long left turn so that's actually gonna help me catch up to him right away but it's gonna be hard for me to get a move done even more so because I've damaged my car let's carefully go through this jump as really easy to mess up that jump and end up hitting the wall which will completely ruin your race but still gonna see if we can try to somehow find a way to force him into an error it's gonna be easier said than done but he's gonna go really wide through this right turn I'm gonna take a narrow line just try to sneak on through gonna get the move done but he has a faster exit but he is taking a bit of a longer line so we are side by side for a moment gonna get the pass done and here we go we're gonna make a massive jump nearly side by side and then gonna get a beautiful entry and exit out of this hairpin and solidify that move and take third place but now I'm in the hot seat so I need to try to make sure that I don't mess it up because he's breathing down my neck and he's definitely gonna want that third place back so there's a good time to not mess up now's the time because I cannot mess this up and the last thing I want is to really mess things up to where he takes a spot and I can never recover the position for him. Gonna try to get a clean exit out of this right turn that takes you to the start finish line but I'm gonna be a bit of an idiot and hit the wall and gonna get damaged on the rear bumper and the rear left wheel. So this is definitely not helping my cause as the car is a little all over the place and then I got heavy rifle really breathing down my neck to the point where I'm getting a little nervous that he might be able to get past me. Gonna go through this big jump and gonna get it nailed down so everything's all good but gonna go through this smaller jump but I'm gonna end up right in front of heavy rifle and we're gonna end up colliding into each other and this is a bit of just being at the awkward place at the wrong time is that how you say it but taking a look at his perspective because when i landed my car basically it just stopped right in front of him so it sent him right into me so really awkward positioning especially for me but luckily i didn't get too much damage and he did say sorry afterwards so you know it's it's all good but Unfortunately, I, I do have a bit of damage, so I'm going to understeer into the wall, but luckily I didn't hit it too hard to where I got any more damage. But still just going to try to struggle my way through these turns, but I do see that uh, the Hyundai is starting to fall behind, so he must have gotten even more damage than I did. But we're going to skip on over towards the end of the race as nothing else happens after that. Finishing in third place and this is a pretty good run a pretty fun meme race after starting in fifth place so pretty happy with this result so that's gonna be it for this video hopefully you enjoyed this video so if you like this video you can press the like subscribe and all that good stuff and this is mr mc8 the world's most okay player and i'll see you in the next video All right, is this working? Yeah, okay, it's working. Um, okay, so this is that cheesy part of the video, I, or hopefully cheesy part of the video that I mentioned in that one community post when I got to 20,000 subscribers, but you know, I just wanted to take a bit of time to say thank you for uh, supporting me throughout these years. It's been a really wild ride. <laughs> Why am I even sounding this quiet? But anyways, uh, yeah, it's been a heck of a ride, a heck of a wild ride. And 
yeah, there's been a bunch of ups, a bunch of downs in YouTube, in real life, and yeah, <laughs> and just having you guys ride along with me throughout this crazy thing called, you know, YouTube, YouTube and life. Uh, it, it really does mean a lot to me. And I, I, I know I don't really tend to show it that much, but I do want to take the time to say thank you. And I appreciate your guys' support. Uh, why am I tearing up? <laughs> um, what was I going to say? Uh, I know last year was especially rough. My gosh, last year was especially rough to where I even had to take like a short break from YouTube. I almost stopped making videos altogether, but you know, just thanks to you guys' support, I did. You know, I eventually came back to continue making videos. Um, yeah, I cannot thank you guys enough for that support because when I needed someone <laughs> um, the most, then you know, you guys, you guys were there. And <laughs> yeah, you guys have no idea how much that means to me. And recently, you know, life has been really busy, so I haven't had as much time to get videos out or even just live stream. But I'm hoping that these busy times do kind of just go away so I can focus more on making these videos because you know, it, it's always pretty fun making these videos and just trying things out live streaming uh having you guys watch me go through some really dumb shenanigans <laughs> oh man good times but yeah uh i i guess that's really all i want to say uh i do really appreciate you guys support and i generally thank you guys for this crazy amount of support especially as we just recently hit 20,000 subscribers and yeah uh also thank you to the channel members for the extra support as well that really helps me out and yeah that's gonna be it from me so there's there's a cheesy video i know i sound really tired because it's now five in the morning what, what am i doing up at five in the morning i'm just gonna go to bed now have a good night y'all thank you for the support and let's go on over to 25,000 subscribers let's go <laughs>